Satnam everyone, my name is Satsiri and I'm so happy to be here with you in this month of April. Nirvara Singh asked me to be here with you to teach this meditation this month and to talk a little bit about the immersion teacher training that we have here in Española happening in August this year. I have the huge honor and blessing this year. Nirvara Singh is passing the baton to me and I'm going to be the lead trainer here in this course. This course is so dear to me because 13 years ago I traveled from Australia with the dream to become a Kundalini Yoga teacher and now all these years later I'm here leading this course. I invite you to come if you have been thinking about it, if you've been dreaming about it or if spontaneously today which sometimes happens you may get the inspiration to come. It will transform your life. That's always the good news and the bad news, isn't it? When we're stepping up and moving through the fears and the doubts and the insecurities to really live our destiny. The meditation that we're going to be doing today together really helps us move beyond those self-limitations and doubts that can hold us back and keep us living a really small life instead of stepping up to the destiny and living from our higher consciousness. This meditation I actually practiced for 40 days after I did the immersion course those 13 years ago because of an experience I had with Yogi Bhajan. It was actually the last year that he taught in the teacher training before he passed the following year so I was very blessed to have his presence there. And I'd been having the most amazing experience, meeting so many international people from all over the world, having the deep experience and transforming experience of Kundalini Yoga, and then the inspiration to share it with as many people as possible. But towards the end of the course, there was this day that I woke up and I was filled with fear and I was filled with self-doubt. And so he was coming to lecture that night and we sat and we did Ramadasa, the healing meditation, and my eyes were closed. And I was in the chant, but I was also consumed in my negativity. I'm sure I'm not alone. We all have those days. And so I didn't know that he'd come into the room. And my eyes were closed. We were in the meditation, and then the music shut off. And I opened my eyes to see him. And I was about halfway back and there was a room of a hundred people in there so I wasn't close but I opened my eyes to see him staring at me and if you've heard the stories before of him staring at someone his eyes go like an owl and he just penetrates into the depth of your soul and so I kind of opened my eyes and went <gasps> and he said as many people have said before he can read your aura he could read everything that was going on with you he looked at me and he said, you don't have to know anything. You will lead by your example, by your consciousness, and by your human grace. And he stared at me, and I kid you not, tears flew out of my eyes horizontally just with that remembrance of the light of my own soul. And I hope you remember those words on those days when you're doubting yourself because I was consumed in who am I to teach this yoga, it's been here for thousands of years, I have to lock myself away for 10 years before I sit in front of anyone and share anything, just doubt, 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 doubt and his words penetrated so deeply into me and were that reminder and I still to this day when I have those days where I'm doubting and, and insecure and fearful reminding me that I have within me everything that I need in this moment and as a teacher it's so important to remember that because we all have those days when we would probably rather be sitting in a corner with no one looking at us and thank goodness for Om Namo Guru Dev Namo and thank goodness for this practice that keeps allowing us to feel those fears. Hello old friend, yep, yeah, you're here again. But to be able to keep stepping up and the meditation that we're going to do together is one to help us for that. It's a meditation from the Aquarian training manual, the teacher training manual. So if you're a teacher, you have it. You've probably taught this meditation to many people as I have because it's so empowering. And if you're coming to the immersion 
to practice and study with us, it's one that you will do yourself in the immersion and then you may teach other people as well. It's prosperity number one, meditation, and it uses the mantra of Har Hare Hari Wa He Guru. Just even chanting it once reminds me of the steadiness and the groundedness that it brings us as we chant it. So you're going to be sitting up straight with a slight neck lock, a slight jalandraband. So retract your chin a little bit. And then the elbows come in beside you. The arms are at a right angle and you really want to be sure that they're at that right angle. Often with this mudra, with this posture, you kind of see people relaxing so the arms are a little floppy. You want them to be active so the biceps are active, elbows right in beside you. And then the hands are actually in Gyan Mudra. So index finger and thumb pressing together elbows in beside you, arms at that right angle, and the fingers pointing straight out in front of you. You have a choice with your eyes. Eyes are either closed and rolled up and in towards the third eye point. Or if you're familiar with focusing at the tip of the nose, that's an alternate um, eye focus as well. So you're gonna sit very royally, regally. The very mantra of Har, Hare, Hari, Wa, He, Guru, you're really connecting to your navel. So you're connecting to that manifestation of seed, of flow, of completion, that our creativity is connected with God, with the infinite. So it's that real visceral reminder as we chant to clear away the blocks, to clear away the uncertainty so that we can allow a prosperous life, so that we can live up to the destiny of our soul. So sitting in the posture, very still, very steady, very regal. I'll chant it a few times with you. Of course, you would tune in three times with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo first. Eyes closed, rolled up and in. Har Hare Hari Wa He Guru 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 and you'd continue like that with the chant for 11 minutes or up to 31 minutes. I'm going to be practicing with you this month of April at least 11 minutes a day and really tune into that power that it reminds you that you have that power to manifest the life that you really want to be living. If you're going to come to the immersion and study with me, with Nirvair, we, we have such an amazing team of teachers, of trainers here with so much experience. I look up to so many of them myself. And we even have a couple of surprise teachers this year too that are gonna pop in for a day or two. It's gonna be the most wonderful experience. Read about it more on the KRI website, but I'm so excited to meet you in August. Of course, when you end the meditation, you would end with either long time sun or three long satnams to really seal your practice, to really seal it in viscerally in your cells. I just want to end with a prayer from Yogi Bhajan. So close your eyes and just listen to these words. May the wind be behind you and may angels dance with you and may your consciousness guide you to victory. May the great souls, the avatars, and all incarnations of God pray for you. May you walk tall and bless all with your innocence and with your love for every person's peace and for their prosperity. May you remember what time wants and may you serve the needs of the time and space. You will always be sacred, exalted, beautiful, bountiful, and fulfilled. And so.